Hey guys, Vinny here with Say It Once Dog Training. I'm at the dog house today, and today we're gonna to talk about the out command, or as some people call it, drop it. We're gonna use a tug toy for this exercise. I'm gonna show you the easiest way to go about this. A lot of you have heard that tugging makes your dog aggressive. That couldn't be further than the truth. Tugging is a great way to engage your dog, but it's also a great way to teach your dog to drop it. Let's dive right in. All right, so right now I have two tug toys in my hand. I have a 15 inch jute tug toy and a 12 inch leather soft tug, right? And I'm gonna show you what the difference is. This is a good tug toy for adult dogs. And this is the type of toy you wanna use when you're teaching the drop it command or the out command. The reason why is because it's stiff. I can make it immobile. You'll understand that portion in a second. Now this is a soft leather tug. This is great for young puppies before they start to really tee. Right, we can use this for four month old dogs and younger, but right in between four and six months where the dog's teeth are starting to fall out, we don't want to tug too much. We'll ramp this back up again when the dog's about six months old. All right, so we're gonna work a little bit with my St. Bernard Xena while Thurman's holding a place command. I'm using this 15 inch, very firm jute tug toy, and I'm gonna show you how to get a little bit of engagement, but also to teach the out command. This toy is strong as heck. Right? No handles either because I don't want my dog trying to chew on the handles. I want them to grab the actual tug. The reason 15 inches here or 14 inches is because I have enough, hand, enough room to make a really good target for my dog. But when I want the dog to drop the toy, and their mouth will be here, I'm going to bring both of my hands directly here and I'm going to make the toy completely immobile and I'm going to become boring. Right? And it will take a little bit of time to teach this passive out. My dog's going to try to tug, tug, tug. And it's not that I'm not, uh, I'm not allowing my dog to pull. I'm not allowing the tug toy to go anywhere. So the big thing I want to do is hold as tight as I can when I'm ready. I say out. I wait, wait, wait. My dog sits down. Good. And I give them the tug toy right back. Up. Good. Ready? Sit. Good girl. Good. Good. So when we start playing tug, I'll hold the ends, I'll let her pull back a little bit, I'll let her get a nice little win. Good, good. And then when I'm ready to teach the dog out, you can come a little bit closer here, Jake. Ooh, that is cool. I'm gonna bring my hands right next to her mouth. Out. Good. Good girl. Ready? Good girl again. Yeah. Good. We'll start playing again to the point where she's got a nice grip, real good grip. As she starts pulling back, I'll let her get a nice win here. Good. Good girl, it really increases the confidence, which is a beautiful thing. But when I'm ready, I bring my hands out. Good, good girl. Obviously, it's a little bit easier to show you guys this with a dog who already understands how this is gonna work. But when your dog starts tugging back and you hold here and say out, no matter what, I will not let this toy go anywhere. This toy is so, this, uh, this tug is so stiff that my dog can't rip it right out of my hands and I get a really good grip on it and I become patient, like a wall, or like a tree, a lot of people say, and I stand right here. And as soon as my dog backs up, good! Give him the toy right back, start playing again, and we go back to town. Now, this is something that you don't want to have happen is where they grab an end piece like this. Let me get that a little bit more in her mouth. Because now, I can't grab the end of it, so I'm stuck playing one-handed tug, and that's when you're screwed, right? That's what you don't want to do. Out, good, sit, good. 